On March 14, 2017, on the first full day of activities at Michigan Farm Bureau's Washington Legislative Seminar, members heard from American Farm Bureau Federation staff on issues of ag labor, regulatory reform, and the 2018 Farm Bill. Immigration reform is always challenging. It is always political. However, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, I think with the president taking the actions he has taken, uh, Congress now has a little bit of cover that they can focus on substantive reform proposals. We are working with Congress on those proposals already. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, cooks in the kitchen and, and there's a lot of nuances that have to be worked out. But I do think that there's an opportunity. Also, we're going to be working with the administration and the new Department of Labor in trying to tweak the H-2A program, our existing visa program that is very bureaucratic, very hard to use. Uh, it's used at a necessity, basically, uh, and it still is only accounting for about 10% of our workforce. But for those growers and growers that are maybe turning to that program because the shortage is elsewhere, we have an opportunity to maybe tweak around the edges and, and make some government efficiency type of changes uh, that will help the, the program work more efficiently. We certainly support what President Trump is doing, but if you look at the policy our delegates decide on, they want a system that takes into account the costs and the benefits and what the regulations require. They want to see more transparency. They want to see a longer comment period for people who are affected. They want to see the use of sound science. Those are all questions that, that focus on the process by which rules are developed. Currently, the Administrative Procedure Act is 71 years old. It needs updating, it needs modernization. That's what we're pressing for. The House of Representatives passed legislation in early January. It's now pending in the Senate. We're working with senators to get a bipartisan bill up and out of committee and onto the Senate floor for a vote. The Farm Bill is a $1 trillion package over 10 years. About 80% of it goes to the food assistance and nutrition programs. Uh, it's very important to keep those two programs together, both the crop insurance, commodity title, and the nutrition programs. They've been together since the early 1970s, and it really helps to, to form a, a balanced uh, bill that, that can make it through the House of Representatives and ultimately the Senate. You know, our voting delegates believe that crop insurance is one of the most important pieces of the Farm Bill. So we want to see crop insurance remain intact. Uh, it's a very important component of a farmer's risk management strategy. And frankly, a lot of lenders look to the stability of crop insurance uh, as, as a key piece of, of the Farm Bill. Full interviews on the three issue tracks can be seen on our Michigan Farm Bureau YouTube channel.